Welcome to 1407 Grey Mountain Lane. This is the Important Young Harry the X-Men. Today we're doing a comic review of X-Men 18. Okay. This is the follow-up from a X-Men story from a year ago that I... Not just me, but a lot of other people were fixing to... We're waiting on, waiting to see. And we're finally, we finally get it. I guess. So the story is spoken from Sink's perspective. For those of you who don't know who Sink is, Sink is probably the most powerful member. He was the most powerful member of Generation X, but he was also compared to Cypher because his powers didn't, his powers weren't, Okay, the way his powers are is he has to be in sync with another mutant. He can copy another mutant's abilities. So, like, if he was with Cyclops, he would get uh, he would get eye blast. But with him, he was always really he's very creative. He was able to use powers in ways that the original user hadn't even thought of. Like, I remember back in Generation X. He got in sync with uh, his fourth hell classmate, Chamber. And, like, uh, Sink, he used it to fly. Something that Chamber has never been <laughs> able to do. And it's not just that. He uses, he's very creative. And then we get Darwin. Darwin is one of those <sighs> I don't know where to place him. I don't know if he should be part of the first generation of X-Men or the second generation of X-Men because he came right he, his team is right in there. His abilities are that he naturally uh, adapts to anything that's going on. So, if he was put if his head was being dumped in water, he would he would sprout gills. If he was falling from an airplane, he would actually get lighter and just turn into like a parachute thing or something. If he was around with the Hulk, he would just be somewhere else. He would be somewhere else. Fun character. Horrible how he did him in X-Men First Class, but they always have to kill the black guy, huh? That's just the law of movies, I guess. And then we have uh, Laura X-23. I'm not calling her Wolverine because there's already a Wolverine. The, the name is not a title yet. Kenny. These three are locked in the vault. And their whole job is to f basically do surveillance. Figure out what's going on. How many of them are there and assess their threat levels. They get sync because he can see, uh, he he sees himself as extra muscle for Laura or for Darwin. And all this is seen from his perspective. Also, I should note, Sink's been dead for a long time. He was killed when he was 17 years old in a bombing set by Emma Frost's older sister in some really petty way of getting back at her. Yeah, I, I really, it really sucked to see that happen to him. And this was before Columbine too, mind you. So we see this book from his perspective and it's really cool to see because he is one of the this is his first time being on the x-men he is an x-man now he's fulfilled his prophecy I, well one of them he sent he tends to have a little bit of a crush on x-23 i guess because I don't know. I just I just wouldn't want to be around her in a just shaving or anything because or scare her because she can kill you. 
So <sighs> we go in. We go into it. Not a, okay. I'm gonna say a lot. Not a lot happens. Basically, this is a a teaser to an upcoming storyline. The only only thing we get out of it is that we learn that Sink is a lot more powerful than, than he was when he died. Because it's been established that mutants who have been resurrected, their power levels actually get uh, risen. So Sink is now the most powerful person in the Marvel Universe. Also, you got got to think about this. Well, a lot of a lot of my love for Saint goes back to Generation X. So with Ger in Generation X, there was this one issue where Beast was administering a test, and we've seen his inner monologues about every single one of these kids, and he's told, and he. Uh, regarding Sink, that he is going to be really powerful. Just the way his powers work. He it's not, it's not just he can get powers from mutants. He can get powers from other people now. So if he was going up against a Hulk, he can get the Hulk's powers. If he was going up against um, um, Galactus, he could take his powers. He can legit, like he could be the most powerful mutant ever. I like that Hickman wrote this for Sink. It shows that he's a fan. But I, I wanted a little bit more. I wanted to know more about the Children of the Vault because we didn't learn anything from them. It seems like we're getting set up for a storyline that's going to happen in June. And I guess, but give us something else. That's why, despite everything, this is only getting a three- at three and a half stars. I love it. A lot of it is because of sync. But it's not the best. It, it's not the best it could have been. It could have given us so much more. It's like a it's like a, a, a Christopher Nolan movie. Like the, the teaser, you give us like a, a 10 minute teaser which tells us nothing. And then we're supposed to be happy about it. No. We deserve more. So, X-Men, good read, but nothing happens. I want a, a little bit more. Just, you know, don't give us half ass. Give us a full ass. Just give us more. So, this is 1407. Signing off. Signing off.